Who's to say that there isn't right now certain countries that have a problem with, I don't know if they're burglars or what they are, but they're like professionals that go into, they had this problem in a, in New Orleans. There was somebody breaking into houses and they was, they was nickel and diamond. They was swapping out stuff. It was like something was, uh, they'd swap out stuff. And I've heard of this before where, uh, there might be a person of a group, not necessarily a group like a gang or anything like that, but they'd just be a group like a certain uh, ethnicity or whatever that they would break into houses and just swap out, uh, say, they could swap out, I don't know, whatever, food. If you had stuff in your, you know, and, and nowadays with cameras, they take pictures and they can, you know, you, unless you keep an inventory, you say, wow, did I, I, was there a certain amount of whatever? And you think, well, this, this is this, that's nothing. But what if they break, they break in, these people can break in your house because they're professional. They break in, they just nickel and dime, you know, what if they do it to old people? They don't, they, they want to clear an area so they can move uh, their ethnicity or whatever in. Or whatever, a group or gang or whatever. You know, it doesn't have to be ethnicity, but a gang. Or, uh, you know, because gangs aren't always uh, uh, eth ethnic derived. Most of them are, but so I guess that would make them racist. And uh, so they break in and they do this, that, they... You know, they find out what kind of medication the person's on. And they have somebody, you know, if they're trying to get the house, say it's an old person or, uh, you know, maybe an individual. Most most time it'd be an individual, you know, say an elderly guy or something. They go in and they swap his medication around. So then when he takes it, it messes him up. And he has to sell his house and they get, you know, uh, for whatever reason, you know, they they get the house and then they just start doing this and they, they move to another country and they do it. You know, it might've been going on for hundreds of years where, you know, when they had villages, you know, they just, Oh, he has, he has a villa, he has a, you know, a grass hut over here and we, we want, you know, he's got better ground or whatever. It's just, they just want to rule whatever. And so, they break in you think well that's not possible well, yeah it is possible because it's happened before and it is happening and and this is a big possibility of you know why you know you think somebody's perfect you know in perfect shape and you know and then all of a sudden bam they're wiped out and they could they could uh you know whatever they could uh poison water or they could make it look like it was a suicide you know they could break in after the fact knowing that you know if they break in daily say you know, a per whoever it is and they know what they're eating and they just poison that food and nobody else would know that they even had that food in there they could go in there poison that food and then you know take that dish unless somebody knew that they had a dish or whatever that they're storing it in you know, this uh, it's it's a great possibility that this is going on, and it could be that there's people in cities. I wouldn't doubt it. It was it wasn't happening in this city in Des Moines, because with Chicago the way it is, they're trying to take over this city to make it a, a you know a secondary Chicago, which I think they're trying to do with every city. They're just trying to say, well, we're going to throw a, our lower lower earning uh income you people need you people need some uh, jobs there we're going to throw some low income earning jobs in your area and and the people that disagree we're gonna we're gonna push out we got ways of doing it because we have well we see we got a big city here and what we do is we we work areas you know we know the people that do this because we they've arrested them or know it and then they say well we're gonna arrest this but we know that you're you know your kids in it and this that and the other 
And so they, you know, they 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 allow the kid to go for it. They, you know, they might give him hints like, uh, you know, don't do this, or or they just let him go, and then maybe he takes direction or whatever. You know, they're just kind of working. They do it. They still do it on their own. They, you know, they. I'm, I'm guaranteeing this is happening, and it's probably happening in most big cities. People don't, you know, they might be in an apartment. Uh, Apartment is needed. Uh, I got a friend that I'd like to move in an apartment. And, you know, there's there's this person down the place and nobody likes them. It, it might just, they might just be saying there might be people might just be a person that doesn't bother anybody, just goes about their business, but they don't like them because they're not socially effective. You know, they're not uh, they're not bringing in a bunch of other people that they can sell drugs to or whatever, whatever for whatever reason. They're not bringing people in that park. Uh, uh, you know, high luxury cars that they can break into and steal stuff or whatever. Or they, they can go to their neighborhood and or for whatever freaking reason. But don't tell me that this ain't happening. Because, you know, I'm betting there's people that, oh, this this just an accident happened in the home. You know, this person fell down the stairs and is dead now. And maybe there's so maybe that person uh, fell down the stairs and broke a hip. Maybe there's an elder fell down the stairs and broke a hip, but they're afraid to say anything because they know this person get in their house without knowing because they you know they get in and they they give them a warning saying, well this is you know as they're laying there on the ground moaning, uh, we'll make sure that somebody comes and finds you, but just rest assured that you know we know that or you know that we can get in here at any time so you know whatever you say uh we'll do the same to whoever you tell and we know whoever you tell because for whatever reason they're psychotic or whatever and they prove they're psychotic and certain you know they're well I have, uh, we we know what you're saying to those people and we have ways of so all those people you think are dying because of certain, you know, they think, oh, they committed suicide or something. Uh, you best think, well, they had a load of, how do you know that they, uh, they had a loaded gun? How do you know they wasn't, uh, messing with it or was, you know, just kind of flipping around with it and all of a sudden it went off, but they didn't load it. Somebody else had loaded it. Or how do you know that uh, drugs were taken and, and you know, uh, they were tainted with something, but the coroner just said, oh, they just, they died because of this. But the drugs, or the drugs they were taken were, were tainted with uh, poison or whatever, or something that affected them, and it just killed them. So you can't, you know, or, or they forced them a gun, to, or, you know, somebody got broken in a place and said, uh, yeah, you're doing drugs. And we're selling them to you, but uh, you're selling them also, and we don't want you selling them, or this, that, and the other. And, and we want uh, we don't want you doing it anymore, so we're going to have you smoke as much as this as you can until you're dead. No, I can't do that. Well, you are, and they pull a gun. Well, we either take you out and shoot you, or you, you, know, you do it on your own, and you leave high, but you leave dead. So, you know, who's to say that people didn't do stuff at gunpoint? Who's to say that people didn't break in and load a gun that some guy thought was empty and he started doing something, all of a sudden, boom, you know, accidental discharge. And he didn't know it was, he didn't load it, but somebody else said, I'm telling you, this stuff's going on. And people, uh. I bet it's going on more than people realize, and I bet it's uh, groups of people that are getting together and say, we need this, we need that. Uh, could you go over here and get this? Could you get that? Could you do this? We need to, We need this. And anyway.